to at least the beginning parts of how to segment the organs uh, from a whole body mouse MRI data set. I'll be segmenting the, the, uh, the brain, the liver, the lungs, both kidneys and the spinal cord. Uh, but for now I'll, I'll just show the brain uh, and that'll just that'll provide uh, the basic steps to do the other the other organs. So this the software is again ITK Snap version 2.4. There is a newer version of the software available, uh, but I uh, but I know how to use this one, so I, I will be making the video with this particular software. So you can see here first uh, something about the data. The file name for the data is indicated here in the upper left hand corner and that's an analyze file format and I saved, I had to first save the Bruker 2D SEQ files um, in analyze format because the 2D SEQ files were saved as 32-bit format and I wasn't unable to bring them into ITK Snap. So I did the analyze from 2D SEQ to analyze conversion using ImageJ uh, then I opened the analyze images in ITK Snap. <clears throat> okay, so ITK just some basics about ITK here. Here is the view. Um, this is a it's a 3D data set, but even if it was not, ITK Snap would still uh, show the different planes. Uh, of course, it'd be pixelated. Uh, but anyway, we have the coronal view here, the sagittal view, and the axial view. So as in the, you can see, as I click around, I have the, right now, the crosshair tool is by default selected. As I click around, that moves to the, uh, and the other planes move appropriately. For now, I'll just leave it here because I'm going to start uh, the analysis with the brain. So before I begin the segmentation steps, I want to make sure that I've uh, correctly labeled my labels. So there's a label editor here. So I've already, and what, what you would see when you click on the label editor button, uh, there would just be by default label one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I've just renamed them appropriately. Uh, so again, before I begin the segmentation for the brain, I'm going to make sure that my active drawing label is the brain label. Then I'm going to press on the uh, snake tool which will bring up an ROI that surrounds the entire image. So what I want to do is I want to make this this region much smaller so to only focus on the brain. So what I do is I can just grab each side like that and bring it in to surround the brain only as much as possible. And you can see I've lost the sagittal view because I, so I can just click here and get that back. There we go. You know, also, you can see it would be good to zoom in, right? So to zoom in, I have to go back to the crosshair tool. And so now I'm zooming by pressing the right mouse button, holding it down. And to pan, to move the image down, to pan the image, I'm going to first press and hold the control button on the keyboard. And then I'm going to press the left mouse button and hold it down. And I'll do that for each plane, actually just these two planes. Okay, so the axial is fine. So now uh, I will again just hold the right mouse button down and I'll zoom in. And then I'll pan again as necessary. Okay, that's pretty good. Now when I go back to the snake tool, the ROI is still there. So what I want to do here is get this as close to the brain as possible. Including the olfactory bulb here. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> At, well, once I'm happy with this red box, then I will press the segment 3D button. So that just that just uh, shows me a zoomed-in version, or it just takes away all the other pixels from the image, just so that I can focus on segmenting the brain or the particular region that I'm interested in. So first. 
now this is nice that ITK does this. It gives you nice steps. So it tells you here the text is showing segmentation pipeline. So this is kind of the workflow of the segmentation. We're in, I'm in step one now. It's probably okay. Step one, I guess the previous step was really step one, but uh, it depends on how you want to look at it. So anyway, so step one here of pre processing. So I'm going to pre process the image before I again begin the actual segmentation. There are two ways to do that. You can do it either by image edges or intensity regions and play around with that depending on your data. For this data, the intensity regions pre-processing method works well. So once I select either of these, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to do intensity regions, which is basically just a thresholding. So I'm going to pre-process the image according to the, the pixel intensities that I see or that are in the image itself. I click on that button and I get an image, uh, excuse me, an intensity region filter. <clears throat> and it came up nicely. This is already, I had already done this, but typically you would see something more like this when it, came, when it first comes up. So I'm selecting below and above. So you can play around with this to get an idea of what it does. So what I want, at least for the brain, what I'm doing here is I want all the brain pixels to be white and all the background pixels to be blue as much as possible. Okay, the smoothness here, you can see how this will, if I make it one, okay, so basically what this does is, of course, it smooths the image and it can help with filling in holes within the brain. Okay, so see some of these pixels here will get We'll get smoothed out. Okay, that should be fine. I'll actually bring that up a little bit more. Apply OK. Okay, now, so we just follow these steps down. C, press next to accept. <clears throat> now we're on step two. And this step is snake initialization. And what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to change the view. I, I like to look at when it says image to display, I like to look at the original image when I do this. So now I'm going to drop small regions. So they're actually, I mean, I guess you can refer them, refer to them as seed points. Uh, ITK Snap refers to them as bubbles. So I'm going to drop them at each place where I want this segmentation, the snake segmentation to begin. Or, or at least at least give it several seed points to start um, the seed uh, the the snake segmentation or the snake growing algorithm. Okay, so I typically use a radius of five for the brain. Five and a half is okay. So I'm going to add a bubble there. Okay, you can play with this to see. Uh, I'm going to add another one there. I think about five or six are, is a good number. And I can do add bubbles on any of the planes. <coughs> go to Axial, add another one there. And I'll add another one here. That should be good. Okay, that should be good enough. When I'm happy with the bubbles that I've added, again, we're trying to make the segment, of course, we're trying to use the software to make the segmentation fast. So I don't want to add too many bubbles. I'm going to go next. I'm going to set the parameters. So I'm going to go stop this video here. I'm going to start another video at this point. Uh, we'll get into set parameters and we'll see what happens uh, when we press the play button here and the snake algorithm will watch it go through the brain.